guys and girls and welcome to another episode on the Kibari YouTube channel and today I'm gonna pick up our next spicy giveaway car it's not something that I'd normally you know or that we would normally like to um, to do being a, a bit bit newer car auto yeah. but I think it passes much like the R35 it passes I'm gonna give it a shot, try to give it the uh, Keeper Eat Touch. Got a few cool ideas for it. Going to pick it up today. It's something we haven't done in a while. Now that we've got our memberships, we can let you know before they drop what cars we've got coming up. We'll go and meet the, the old owner. We'll go have a bit of a drive. We'll go have a, a bit of a look over it and, and he can tell us what's going on with this beast. But I think you're gonna like it. All right, we just got here. I think he's giving her a wash. But here she is. You ready? Ooh. A90 Supra. Hey, Jason. G'day, mate. Jason, right. meet Jason. Jason, meet Jason. Yeah, all right. Yeah, not bad. Look at you, even giving her a wash. How yeah, kind you is you that? Have to, you, have to, you have to keep everyone happy, you know? That's it. Like, I mean, imagine if I came, rocked up and it was dirty. Nah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> so we've got a silver A90 Supra. Um, how many kilometers are on it? Uh, Hardly any. At the minute, uh, 22. Uh, 22,000 and um, and it was uh, 2020 2020 build yeah. um, the last of the good model so uh, March build date um, tunable ECU unlocked ECU so True. yeah the last you did say something months. about that the, the later yeah. years you have to send them off or something yeah so I send them to uh, Germany specialist there who unlocks them cost about five grand five six grand yeah so yeah the old a90 Supra another car that we um, weren't really expecting to ever do uh, I've seen a few other people doing my stuff but no one's gonna do it the same as we would so I've got a few little tasteful mods we're gonna do it to give it that reed flair when this one came up I was like uh, gotta jump onto it he's done some he's done some already nice tasteful mods yeah, the bare yeah. minimum I'd say for oh, if you're gonna yeah. get one of these done a lot of standard ones out there it's another one of those cars that's sort of like in that um I don't know it's a different kind of you don't get that feel of like you're driving a, a JDM car around like an old JDM car around it's like um you feel like a little bit of a wanker driving them not gonna lie. yeah that's right yeah, yeah it's, a, it's a bit boaty but it, it goes all right it hooks up all right yeah, yeah it definitely goes all right yeah I, I came and had a look and um, gave him a deposit a little while ago and you took me for a drive and it's definitely punchy not gonna lie so you, you tuned all up what power came out yeah so um custom tune on it it's making 387 horsepower at the wheels it's about 630 foot pound of torque. So, do you know how many boosts? How much PSI? Uh, I think it's running, could be wrong, maybe 18 to 20 PSI yeah. boost. I could be wrong. They don't have gauge or anything in it, do they? No, nah, there's no gauge. So no. I, I couldn't tell you, but nah, I think shimmy. it's around 20 PSI mark. Yeah. Goes hard, it's all that matters. Yeah, definitely. Who tuned it as well? Uh, so it was tuned by Anton in uh, Truganina. Yeah, uh, I've heard that name before. I think he yeah, does some good stuff. Yeah, good guy. Very good guy. I'll we'll have to take it for a little, little drive, I reckon, around the block and see if you can get the sounds as well because you have done an exhaust. Yes, yes. And a good one, a good one too. Yeah, definitely the top of the range. You don't, don't skimp out around here. So What's that say? So, Ooh. Yeah, HK's uh, uh, turbo back muffler yep. um, with bimodal valve. So. So yes. you put it in sports mode and she goes all loud like. Yeah, definitely. You've got the streetability of um, quiet mode when you start it up and then you can click that sport mode and make it all loud like. Right. Yeah, I forgot to say, this is the GR version. I don't really know too much about them again. There's yeah. a there's one model above or something. but Yeah, they're all GRs. But, oh, um, they're all GR. Yeah. yeah, this is the GT model, so the, the base model. In reality, you'd rather spend the extra money on, on mods. So. Yeah, you spend that money on yeah. mods, but there's not much difference, is there? Nah, not really. Just Apple CarPlay. Up yeah, some play. bigger wheels, which we're changing anyway. Wheels, that's right. And then that's it. And, and then Alcantara seats, but, but it's got nice, yeah. in, nice interior anyway. And nice lather. It's got quite a cool interior. Quite space, like a bit different. Uh, actually, it is. They've kept the spaceship theme, like a, yeah. like the old Supra. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, pretty cool. But no seats, no rear seats. They've kept the, the chassis in there. The center division as well. Um, like that thing, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you've got a, it's a real cockpit. Yeah. Like yeah, you're in an airplane or spaceship so or whatever. Paying homage to the uh, original. Yes. But yeah, I did, it did catch me by surprise that having no no rear seats in there. I would have thought they'd like you know at least cram them in there, but. It, 
it probably adds to that that spicy um, body shape they've got going on there. Let's be honest, in the the actual Super or RX-7 or any of those cars that they say are there are four four seater or even five seater, I don't know. You're never fitting anyone in there. No, that's you true. can't fit a kid's seat. You can't fit anything in there. <laughs> Let's pop this um pop this hood. Show me yeah. underneath there. Yeah, sure. well, that's the other thing too. You got some um, you got some nice carbon little trims. Yeah, yeah. So installed by myself, obviously. So. Self-install. That's some yeah. skills, mate. You've done well. You've done a good I'm, job there. I'm a qualified aircraft technician, so I mean, I aircraft right technician. Here. Yeah. <laughs> God dang. We've got some cool stuff going on. These their headlights are absolutely gangster in the way they're smooth yeah. curves. And then this bay, a little bit average. Not gonna lie. Where's yeah. the big snail? Where is it? Uh, just down here, man. Yeah. No big snail. No little big baby snail. in there. Yeah. <laughs> That's all right. And you've got a nice air uh, What is it? Intake. You got yeah. the full intake. So MST air intake. Um, it's also got the inlet uh, valve, uh, inlet pipe as well. So yeah. straight into the into the turbo. Nice. And it makes little flutters. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Very, yeah. You very have nice to. Yeah. That's what you want. That's all that matters. A few things going on. Just need some wheels and some lowering, which I've got covered with Shockworks. So not many people actually make a kit, I've realised. Did you ever look into suspension? Uh, no, I haven't. I haven't. Um, I was sort of focusing more on uh, power, so I was looking at getting a, a P-tuned kit, but financial-wise, I couldn't do it, but that's all right. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll leave it to the to the real boys over here to, uh, <laughs> to actually, do that. We'll do the yeah. spicy mods, you've done the power mods. Yeah. How much do right. you reckon you spent on, on the mod so far? On it? Well, that probably 12 grand, yeah. With the lip kit, intake, tune and the exhaust. Yeah. Yeah, about 12 grand. Because that exhaust itself was... Yeah, was, the exhaust said, itself, I paid 6500 for it. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, there's, uh, yeah, there's not, not many in Australia. I've had yeah. people... Uh, Wanting to just buy the exhaust from me, yeah so, for sure. Yeah. Well, it ain't no ain't no can gang custom, that's for sure. No yeah. titanium crispness, but um, that bimodal thing's pretty cool. I have no idea how that works. Probably just some little flapper inside there somewhere. Yeah, it's just connects a, to the button. Just an electronic actuator. Is it like full plug and play? Like yeah, plugs straight in. Yeah. Yeah. So take the because um, it has that standard, does it? Yes. Yeah, so yeah, it has yeah. it standard. So just take the actuator out, put it onto the exhaust, and you yeah. plug and play. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, nice. So yeah, wheels and low shockworks are going to make a kit out for it. Um, just make sure you hit them up if you if you want a kit. If they get enough interest, they'll make a few um, kits and maybe keep some in stock. So you got to hassle them if you've got a AI Super and want that, because there's not much available. But they're um, the best in the business. So we'll get them under there and we'll slam it on the ground and undecided. Let me know if we should go 18s or 19s. I may have some absolutely sexy. 18s in stock right now, which I was thinking about throwing on this. Funnily enough, when I did get some wheels I thought we were going to go on this, I was like, oh, hang on, that's just a stupid BMW, isn't it? <laughs> so they're going to get, they're going to do something funky. Surely keep that Toyota stud pattern or Nissan or whatever. And uh, I started looking, I was like, here we go, it's going to be BMW stud pattern. And no, it was actually bloody Mercedes stud pattern. So they've got on Mercedes 5x112 on the Toyota that's really a BMW. So they've, they've really thrown it in the mix, and I think they're the studs as well, so it's not a, um, what do you call them? They're the bolts, not the studs. Um, but luckily you can get a kit that changes them over to a smaller stud, and then you can run a 5 by 114 So that's happy days there. So yeah, wheels, lows, and we've got um, a bit of a kit. Now, did you have any other spare parts, stuff going on with this thing, or things yeah. you didn't put on it, or what? Yes, what have you got? Uh, carbon wire. Carbon, uh, no, not real carbon. Carbon. Farben. Yeah, carbon, <laughs> farben, that's right. A uh, bit of a ducktail going on. Yeah, but I didn't put it on for me personally. It yeah, made me Shibby, we'll have, a, we'll have a play when we yeah. get back to the factory. So I've got, I actually ordered one as well. A little bit different to that. I think it probably look a bit better, but we'll um, we'll try both and, and see which one you guys like. Um, and then you've got the stock air box and some other things, just for roadworthy purposes that's or right. whatever. Someone's gonna have to. Uh, Engineer a new clamp. Oh no! What it's a, it's an anti-tamper clamp. Oh, uh, who does that? Yeah, I mean, there's probably a special way, but I believe this is anti-tamper, so you know. just get something nice and sturdy, you know. So. The stock uh, turbo inlet. So I've done the delete with that intake pipe, so you can get rid of all this muffling. Yeah, a fair bit of muffling here. And get all the noises. That's right. Yeah. That's right. That. Well, she's got some spicy Xbox games over there too. Yeah. Don't, throw in there, or what? don't mind the garage. Yeah, I just moved in. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Got juice too. Ooh. The, what's that? An Evo. Oh gee. 
Yeah, so OG games here. They come with the car. So come with it? Yeah, come with the car. Right, I'll be taking them 100%. Yeah. <laughs> Give me five minutes worth of fun, all that. <laughs> all right, sweet as I reckon, um, let's start this thing up. Let's, let's hear it, I reckon. Yeah, sure. Let's get some noises going on. Pretty nice note, still got that new car sounds going on. How does it work to change the modes? So, just uh, on the original button here, yeah. sport mode. Sport. And then uh, normal. So yeah, it's just plug and play. Is that open now? Yeah, it's open. Yeah, it's open. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not bad, not bad at all. It's definitely a different note. It's not something I can say is similar to anything else that I know. Probably a, probably sounds like some sort of BMW. It's, yeah, it's quite a deep, throaty, throaty note. You know, maybe chuck it in the um, the other mode. Yeah, yeah. I'll see how much it quietens it up. Yeah. Just so we got a comparison. <laughs> A little bit. Yeah, it gets rid of the uh, popping crackle. Yeah, gets rid of the crackle tune. So it's not crazy, but it's a bit. It probably it's probably a bit less droney when you're cruising and stuff. I'm guessing. Yeah, definitely. It's uh, nice and quiet on the freeway. All right, just a reminder. So if any of you aren't a member, now's your chance to jump on it right now because um, you'll be in this drawing this thing. And you don't have to even worry about it. You can start accumulating those entries right now. So make sure you head to keeperu.com and you'll get in every single one of our draws. So you don't have to think about it. And every month they'll accumulate and you'll have even more chances. How good's that? Annual support we're all about, keeping drifting up the street. And on the track, and us getting a spicy track for you guys to make it as cheap as possible for get out on the track. Anyway, let's take this thing for a drive. Is it my turn to drive it this time? Uh, it's your car. Alright, it's my car. <laughs> it's auto. I don't know what I'm gonna do. You know what man, this has been my dream to uh be in a vlog, you know. <laughs> never, never done this before. What well, do you reckon I'm doing all right, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Not bad, it's a natural. <laughs> all right, how do you do this? Don't know. It's the weirdest looking shift knob I've ever seen. Oh! Yeah, so oh, on. forward, back, forward, oh, oh, oh. Ah, uh, foot on the brake. Yeah, it's on the brake. Ah, uh, and then there's a... I broke it. Oh, no, oh is that how yeah. you... Oh, yeah. unlock button. Oh, you have to hold it? Yeah, just push it in and select it at the same time. There you go. Ah, uh, forwards, yeah. Oh, oh. oh. Does it have like traction things and stuff? Yeah, so at the minute it's full traction. Yep. Uh, if we hit this one once, it'll put you into sort of like a sports traction. Ooh. It'll uh, loosen up the traction control a bit, but not turn it off all the way. Can you like hold it and delete it? Yeah, it so if you hold it all the way, okay. you'll get rid of uh, vehicle stability oh, like control. Off the drift mode, off yeah, the front wheels. That's right, so you get rid front of all... Wheels, front wheel drive mode. All assistance, all vehicle stability, you get rid of it all, so. That's <laughs> <laughs> some bad talk, straight away. Have like launch mode or something? Uh, so, it's a bit temperamental. In the book and online, apparently there's a launch control. I've tried it multiple times and I can't get it to activate, so. Mash the foot on the brake and accelerator past the stop pointing into the button but yeah I, I don't know how to activate it myself oh. <laughs> yeah, it just, just spins the wheels so I mean if anyone knows show me how to do it one day <laughs> that does is spicy I don't remember hearing it like that last yeah. time I took it for a drive <laughs> it sounds sax it's a little taste taste tester <laughs> I don't want to be getting in any trouble now. We're sensible people. <laughs> Sounds really good though. Yeah, still got a bit more tuning capacity in it as well. Um, as I told you, is if you put a, a, a nice dump pipe on it, you can make another 30 or 40 horsepower on the tune. So Very yeah. spicy for like not really doing much to a car. Nah, that's right, yeah. It feels quicker than the 35, like initial, initial pull. I haven't opened it up once we... Um, once we get it back, we'll, um, we'll open it up Yeah, properly, that's right, yeah. Very firm, new car feels. 
no loose bushes like every other 30 year old JDM car. <laughs> Shut her off. Done. Very good. Alright. <laughs> well, we'll jump out and um, I'll load up my Xbox game. Yeah, for sure, man. <laughs> so there you go, A90 Supra. Thanks for being a legend. No worries, man. Appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, hopefully someone and, um, enjoys it. So. And make sure you get in the draw. Yeah. Could be yours again. Yeah, I mean. 30 bucks. Uh, uh, yeah, we'll see how we go, but might, uh, might let someone else enjoy it, so yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's Could go anywhere. Australia and New Zealand could be yours. We've got some spicing up to do, so let me know what other things you might want to see done to it. You know, I reckon slam, some nice wheels, and and maybe that boot lip, and, that, and that's it. I don't know. It's already got all nice, tasteful things. You don't want to go too crazy with these things. I'm sure a lot of you will want to just daily drive this, like you did yourself, didn't you? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, daily driven every day. I had a GI Yaris, and I opted to pick this one. Just yeah. more comfortable. So yeah. And what are you getting next? What uh, you got next? So. I've upgraded to a nice Alfa Romeo. Yeah. It's a 159, 3.2 <laughs> V6. <laughs> um, oh, but yeah, yeah who knows what the future holds. That's um, it, that's it. Yeah. Maybe get a project car or something. Yeah, maybe project cars. Looking at an S15. Um, so. Yeah, nice. You're nice and close to cool to park. So. That's right, yeah. Maybe yeah. get you down to the drifts, I reckon. Yeah, for sure. This Friday, we got one on. Yeah, we'll see how we go. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. And uh, yeah, make sure you tune in and get your membership if you want to jump on it right now. And it will be live very shortly and yeah we'll get some spicy mods done to it we'll see you next time okay.